What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Jasper and we're gonna go over today's workout day two of the 2017 workout split. If you haven't downloaded, go download right now. We're doing chest, shoulders and biceps on this day. Um, so first thing is first, we're starting out with chest. Obviously this is my personal plan and chest is my weak point. I just got better. I just got good again to train chest so we are having a heavy focus on chest in this workout routine but we're doing not too many exercises because i feel like that's where it all went wrong for me by doing way too much volume for my chest so we're going to concentrate on a few exercises this day the first one being the dumbbell presses on a flat bench and the reason is um the reason why i don't bench press right now is because of the imbalance in my chest and when I do bench press, I feel like my left pec, who is way, way more developed, um, can really take over for my right pec when I do bench press. And with dumbbells, that's not the case because um, either hands um, are working separately. So that's why, I, that's how I want to fix my chest. So we're, until I feel good enough and I feel like my chest is, you know, balanced again, um, we're not going to do any bench pressing. So if you want to bench press, you can definitely do bench press. Um, for, instead of this uh, first one, uh, but I'm gonna do dumbbells. So uh, with this, the first exercise, we're having two warm-up sets, uh, fairly easy, and then we have five sets of 10 repetitions each. And on the last set, we are having a little drop set. You're gonna see it in a second. Um, I really like to incorporate drop sets, and uh, I did it quite often in this workout split because I do truly love them, and I feel like it gives that extra feel of burn, and um, you know, the extra, you know, 12 or 10 reps that you completely, you know, tire out that muscle. So uh, that's the that's the game plan for now. Um, as I said, five sets, 10 repetitions, and the next exercise will be the incline dumbbell press. Same thing applies here. Um, five sets, 10 repetitions as well, uh, with one drop set on the last one. Um, now I do want to talk a little bit about form. Um, the thing that I learned in the last couple months. By watching a lot of videos, doing a lot of research, and you know, just looking at it, is I like to have my feet spread a little bit, as you can see right now. I have them further back a little bit, uh, that way my back is arched, and I can really um, this way. Okay, so let's start from the bottom uh, and go up. My feet are a little bit back; uh, they're a little bit wider spread, so they're very, the stance on the ground is very, you know, nice and heavy, if you could say so. Uh, then I arch my lower back and then I retract my scapula and that's uh, how you get a little arch in the back. I, I don't have a side view um, of this exercise, I should have done that, but um, you, could, you could see a little arch in my back. Uh, there's a little bit of space between my lower back and the bench. Uh, and then retract my scapula and then uh, push really and try to concentrate on the chest, uh, which is something I did struggle with in the past. Uh, especially my right side, but getting better now. Uh, I was really happy with this uh, workout and how it went. So next week um, or next exercise day of chest, which is tomorrow, um, we're gonna see if we can do any more weight or we just keep it in this weight for this week and then see next week. Um, then we moved on to some chest dumbbell flies. Very easy exercise. Um, just make sure you don't go too low so you get pains in your shoulders and stuff like that. But also like that, five sets, 10 repetitions. Uh, then we're doing some shoulders. Uh, we're doing some other Arnold, Arnold, geez, I can't even talk. Arnold presses, get to the chopper. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm doing 100% correctly like that they're supposed to be done, but I really like this one, um, the way I'm doing it right now, because the rotation, it keeps the, the, the movement very long and very painful. Uh, this is a very good technique to do, and um, I think you should try it out if you haven't already. Uh, two warm-up sets of that, we always want to make sure we warm up correctly. Three sets, uh, eight repetitions. Then we move on to some side raises with dumbbells. And I do have a little bit of a thing. Look at, on your left side, which is my right. Um, you can see the dumbbell goes a little bit higher. This is something I need to fix because it is just not balanced at all. Um, if you you know, pay attention to how high it goes or pause the video or whatever, you can clearly see uh, something is up. So definitely next time uh, I'm going to uh, fix this because that's the thing about filming yourself or recording yourself while doing an exercise. You can see all the flaws 
uh, although I'm not really unhappy with the way it felt, um, I think I can always do better. It's just very unbalanced in some reps, which is it looks retarded. Um, but anyways, a very good exercise. Uh, I like to keep my um, uh, I like to not use too much momentum, although it's okay to use a little bit of momentum, uh, but definitely don't make it swing and lose control of the weight because it's very important to have control and have the, you know, the, the mind muscle connection going throughout the whole movement. Uh, that exercise I said, uh, three sets, eight repetitions as well. Uh, pick a fairly light weight, something you can do for eight reps. Uh, don't go too heavy on these because you've got to use momentum and it's just not the way we want to train. Uh, then we move on to some shrugs. You can do shrugs with dumbbells, kettlebells or um, plates even. It doesn't really make huge of a difference. Um, I used kettlebells uh, just because I like the way it feels in my, in my hands. Um, and yeah, uh, what I do try to, to do those with shrugs though is really try to really do them slow. Um, and my facial expressions are absolutely hilarious on this exercise but I don't really give a damn. Uh, but I, the thing is, you you try to get your shoulders up to your ears, and that's pretty much how you activate the traps, uh, which is a very you know easy way to go about it. But it's just, it's not very uh, that much of a hard exercise to explain. Just try to not bend and use your arms to get the weight up as much as possible. Um, I do this exercise three working sets uh, with 15 reps, a little bit higher rep range, just because it's a little bit of a smaller muscle, so we want to burn it out at the end. Uh, then we'll move on to two bicep exercises. Easy bar curl, one of my favorite exercises of all time for biceps. Uh, we do that four sets, 10 repetitions. Four clean sets. We can go up in weight if we do want to, but I want to have 10 clean reps where you can really feel and burn the peak of the biceps, which feels absolutely amazing with this bar, uh, which I really love. But I do uh, one or two warm-up sets you will see in the plan as well. I do one or two warm-up sets for this exercise. Depends on really how I feel. If I feel like I need two, or if you guys feel like you need two, definitely do two. Um, yeah, then we move on to some across the body hammer curls. These things are fucking awesome. Sorry for my profanity, but uh, I love this exercise. Uh, it also not only works your uh, bicep, but also a little bit of your forearms, which is also a good thing to implement here and there. Um, but yeah, this is a very easy exercise. Try to control the weight again. Uh, what I try to imagine in my head is getting the dumbbell from one side of my chest to the other. So on the right hand, it goes from the right chest to the left chest and, and all the way around, vice versa. Um, really, really good exercise. Four sets with 10 repetitions. And if you want to go over in weight, uh, you can add more weight uh, along the way. But again, don't use any momentum. The best, more gains. Uh, you're gonna make with uh, uh, without using any momentum so yeah that's day two for you guys go try it out let me know what you guys think if you want to change anything from a bench press go do that in instead of the, the flat dumbbell presses uh, but for now i thank you all so much for watching leave a like if you did enjoy it and i'll see you guys in the next one deuces